What's going on everyone? Might go back doing another box break. Today I'll be breaking one hobby box of 2022 Topps Gallery Baseball. Topps Gallery Baseball is a fun product they've been putting out the last few years as a retail exclusive generally. It's been exclusive to Walmart. They do the collectors slash hobby box, which is this, which includes 20 packs and two autograph cards per box. They also do the traditional blasters, which do not guarantee any sort of autograph, and you obviously get far less overall cards. Uh, current prices are $24.99 for blasters, $79.99 for the collectors slash hobby boxes. And this year, it seems like these were available only on tops.com. I might be wrong. Maybe Walmart's delayed on them. I haven't seen any sign of them um, on walmart.com. They may have also been available at Walmart in store. Uh, the, my most local Walmart does not carry cards at all, uh, but I think maybe some other people were finding them at Walmart. But the hobby boxes or the uh, blaster boxes are currently available, at least as of the time of this recording, on walmart.com and still on tops.com as well. So Tops Gallery Baseball, 100 total cards, the art of collecting. Here are the odds. You can get different color parallels, autographs, some inserts. Set looks nice this year. I like the overall design. They do use photographs this year. Uh, some of the most recent years, they've done artistic uh, renditions of photos. They've done some hand-painted stuff, things like that, sketches. So this year, they're back to photographs. Cover boy is Bryce Harper, which, of course, if you guys follow the channel, you know I like. And as you know, if you follow the channel, I am a Phillies fan, and literally in the last hour or so, the Phillies won their first playoff game in 11 years. It was their first playoff appearance in 11 years, so I'm certainly excited. So if you hear a little extra pep in the voice, that's probably why. Um, thrilling end of the game uh, for Phillies fans. Just down 2 nothing, looking... Uh, not looking good, offense struggling, and then they find a way to put together a six-run ninth inning and end up winning it ultimately 6-3 to three against the St. Louis Cardinals, who they did face in their previous playoff appearance, which uh, was a classic um, or a nightmare, depending on how you look at it. Uh, the Phillies lost that game one nothing. Roy Halladay pitched his heart out. But that day, Chris Carpenter was just a little bit better. And uh, Cardinals advanced and ended up going on to win the World Series. So we'll see what we get in this full rookie class in here. So we have a chance to get Julio Rodriguez, Juan Franco, Bobby Witt, among other rookies. Like I said, 20 packs, 5 cards per pack, 100 total cards. We started off with a Colton Welker, just like the overall clean design. Max Scherzer, he's about to head to the mound for the Mets. Reed Detmers, Javier Baez, and Bruhan for Tampa Bay. Cool set. I like it. And I like the fact that you can get some affordable stuff that is fairly nice, not, you know, overly cheap. Ronald Acuna Jr. There's a sweet Jackie Robinson. Number 42, Jackie Robinson. Next wave insert of Lou Bob. Got a Tyler O'Neill And Alec Manoa, who did start against the Mariners today. Congrats to Mariners fans out there. As the Mariners get their first postseason win in 20 years. Two decades. Just crazy. All right, we got Marcus Stroman. Derek Jeter. You can get these parallels, too. I think you get a few of these per box. The Rainbow Foil Colton Welker. There's a nice Ted Williams. And Mike Trout. Some serious star power. These would be fun to make a set of. They definitely look great in a binder. Of course, you could always just pick up your favorite players and load them up in top loaders, fancy them up in magnetics. Plenty of different ways to collect and enjoy them. Randy Johnson, George Brett, Carlos Correa is a Minnesota twin, and Willie Mays. A lot of Hall of Fame action in that pack. All 
Ryan Mountcastle, Manny Machado, Ramos, Pete Alonzo, and Nolan Ryan. Cody Bellinger, Hunter Green rookie, J.D. Martinez, Paul Goldschmidt, and Honus Wagner. A lot of base, not too much in terms of inserts. One parallel and one insert to this point. Matt Brash. Corey Seager. Oh, there's a cool one. Rainbow Foil, Roberto Clemente. Man, that looks nice. I like the shine. Tristan McKenzie will get the start for the Guardians tomorrow. He's had a fantastic year. All right, we got something blue. Edward Cabrera, Giancarlo Stanton, Jazz Chisholm, Modern Artist Insert. Art by Jason Drumheller, Hoy Park, Justin Verlander. What a season Verlander had. Getting real close to the halfway point. Kyle Muller, Sonny Gray, Rainbow Foil of Max Scherzer, Chaz McCormick, and Garrett Cole. All right, this pack will put me at the halfway mark. Jaron Duran, rookie for the Red Sox, Kittel Marte. We've got a Jackson Reitz. Is that platinum? I'm not sure what parallel that's considered. Maybe that's what all the autos look like. And that number, Jackson Reitz of Milwaukee. Andre Jackson and Yadi Molina. So one auto, halfway through. See what the second one brings us. I think it's a pretty big checklist. Jazz Chisholm base, Reese Hoskins. He did strike out twice during that ninth inning rally. Is a Nolan Arenado, Josh Bell, Key Brian Hayes, Joe Ryan rookie, Starling Marte. Here's a nice Shohei Otani. PG. I don't know what that's called. Photo gallery? I'm not sure. It's not modern an artist. It's not next wave. Man, they really don't make it easy. Photo portrait gallery. Okay, one in 18. So basically one per box. Jake McCarthy, you Darvish, another rainbow foil. Juan Yepes, who had a big home run in that playoff game today. The Phils did overcome it. Matt Olson, Bo Bichette. There we go. Check out that rookie card. Julio Rodriguez. Sweet rookie there of Julio. Jacob deGrom, Roberto Clemente. Private issue parallel. Number two, 250. The Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. Freddie Freeman as a Los Angeles Dodger. Can you imagine Dodgers, Braves, NLCS, Freddie Freeman MVP? Whew. Joe Adele, Kyle Tucker, Rainbow Foil of Joe Ryan. Robin Yunt. 
Byron Buxton. All right, handful of packs left. Still looking for a second autograph. Fernando Tatis, he will not be taking part in the postseason. Is a Ronald Acuna Jr. photo gallery. I guess that's a green parallel, I'm guessing, because of the trim. And that is numbered to 250 for Ronald Acuna Jr. And our second autograph is Yoel Pozo for the Texas Rangers. Pozo. We got a Stan the Man and a Nolan Arenado base. All right, last few packs. Probably not a lot there. Maybe another parallel or an insert. But we still have a chance to get Bobby Witt. We still have a chance to get Wander Franco. There's a Roy Campanella. Patrick Wisdom. Bam. Bino. Roberto Clemente. Juan Yepes rookie. Enjoying this set. There he is, Albert Pools, back in the Cardinals uniform. Ichiro, Master Strokes insert of Babe Ruth. That's cool. We got Alex Bregman and Ronzi Contreras. All right, final two packs. Not a lot of Phillies action in this box. Did I get anything other than that Hoskins base? Matt Chapman, Hank Aaron, there's an Alex Bregman Rainbow Foil, Austin Meadows, Matt Veerling Rookie, so another Philly, and final pack. It's nice that you get 20 packs in a box nowadays. All right, CJ Abrams Rookie, Jack Flaherty, Master Strokes, Mark McGuire, Aaron Judge, who obviously had a tremendous regular season, 62 home runs, and Jake Myers. So that is it. 2022 Tops Gallery Baseball. 100 cards. There's a stack of base. And then got a nice little stack of inserts, a couple autographs, some sweet-looking inserts and parallels. I think it's a fun product. I mean, it's one of those deals, if you can get it at the retail price, you really can't go wrong. It's a cheap way to break some wax, get some cool-looking cards, and hunt down some of the hot rookies of 2022. Enjoy the postseason. Enjoy the remainder of baseball season. Should be a really fun month. Whether your team's in it or not, it's always a fun watch. I mean, for me, I've been watching postseason baseball the last 11 years, minus the Phillies, and find a way to enjoy it each and every year. But of course, if your team is in it, enjoy it, embrace it. It's not guaranteed to happen every year. Thank you for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.